Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is I Mario 100, and we're back with um this game, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, we're gonna go on over to the remaining gems. We're gonna start off with the uh, with the fairy one, cause that's the next in our order, I guess. Uh, let's let's get on with this. There's something I want to say, but I'm gonna wait till we're actually in battle and not reading a cutscene. Hmm, <laughs> you lot. BD, what about the the Dynamax Pokemon? You think I, the elite fairy type gym leader, would have any kind of trouble? That's right, you're a gym leader now. Though I don't know how about elite or whatever. Please, please, don't tell me you came here to help. First of all, you're a bit late to be any of any use. And second, I didn't need any help. Why'd I know you'd say something like that? We came all the way out here to just to lend a hand. What an obnoxious gym leader. The next gym challenge is shaping up to, be, to really be something. Oleana tricked and used me. From now on, only I decide how I live. And I think that what I should do now is have a battle with you, Mario 100. Look, I'm sorry, mate, but this is hardly the time. Don't always be so such in such a hurry, boy. You aced my quiz, so how uh, show a little composure. BD has already quite quite quieted three Dynamax Pokemon. He's given you the luxury of some extra time. BD's life wouldn't be bound by what other people say any longer. Although, I certainly influenced a few of his decisions not too long ago. Now that you mention it, I suppose you did. Yeah, yeah, as expected of a wise 88-year-old granny, I guess. But this has nothing to do with Miss Opal. This battle's for me. Now don't dilly-dally. Your only option is to accept. Okay. My Pokemon and I have risen from the ashes. I'll grant you a brief glimpse of how amazing we've become. Okay. So we have another fight with him. This time, he is, uh... The fairy-type gym leader, I guess. My days as a gym leader have made me stronger than you. Uh, but yeah. I, I had a little thing I wanted to talk about, because, um, I got a little bored, so I was looking at, um, oh, yeah, yeah, no, because that's Dragon, I'm pretty sure he has fi uh, fairy types, so I don't want to do that, oh, we're, fi we're fine, um, but yeah, I was re-watching some E3, uh, reactions, <laughs> like, specifically the New York Nintendo ones, uh, because I was just like, well, we got a new E3 coming up, and I'm pretty, sh I'm most likely sure that we're not getting a New York reaction from it. So I was like, I, I kind of want to look back at what the other uh, E3s involved, and uh, whatever. I looked at the 2019 one where they talked about Sword and Shield, and there was a collective like, like sadness. I guess I, I don't know what to call it but like they all had the same reaction to um like they said there would be no announcement there, no, there would be no um demo for them to play they were like there's gonna be a demo for the e like e3 attenders and it will be the first available play uh, of the game in the world, or something like that. And everyone just went, ah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know people really wanted to play Sword and Shield that bad. Specifically, a Pokemon game. Like, uh, I feel like 
playing any kind of Pokemon game, no matter what it is, besides if it's a spin-off, and I guess, I guess spin-offs, but if there's an E3 presentation demo of a Pokemon game, I'm not gonna be that interested. I'm not gonna be too interested, because I'm gonna be like, well, it's just Pokemon. Whoa, look at this. They added animations. Which, uh, now that I mention that, it's kind of how people looked at, uh, at Pokemon Legends. They saw animations and were like, oh my god, this game's great. And, uh, that, that's, like, one of the most, like, besides the whole, like, it's an open world thing, that's one of the things I've heard the most about the game. Like, oh my gosh, they actually have battle animations. It's a Pokemon game, I don't care. <laughs> I just want to be able to catch Pokemon. Fill up a Pokedex, that's my favorite thing. I love uh, collecting. I love uh, one in percenting. But uh, yeah. You just might be the strongest champion in Galarian, Galarian history. I've still got a ways to go. I'll make sure to draw out every last bit of strength from you. Is this his last one? I remember really wanting to, like, go to E3. Like, now, now that I'm at that conversation. <laughs> I, I remember, like... I was just, like, hanging out with, like, my dad. We were, like, fishing or something. And I was just, like... I really want to go to E3, and I was like, I was like, hmm, um, what age would I be? Maybe 10? Like 10 or 11, maybe. I was just like, I'm gonna go to E3. And I was like, me and my dad were just like, or no, mainly me. Just, I was looking up stuff about how old you had to be, what you could do, and I, th I think I did see something for children. It was like a separate thing. And I think I searched that up. I think there was a video. Well, okay. Maybe I did that. Maybe I did look at that. But I did remember for a fact, like, a year ago, I tried to search this up again. Like, Kids E3 for Nintendo. And it was, like, it was amazing. It was just, like... <laughs> it was... It was <laughs> they were just, like... They had, like, a freaking slideshow presentation. It was, like, this is Mario. This is Pikachu. This is Pikachu 3DS. <laughs> it, just, it was just really funny to me how they were just like giving like a, a slideshow, I guess. And I, I don't think they even like showed any of the newly announced games to them. Maybe like one or two. But I like... The, the kid I was wanting to go to E3... If I had actually been able to do that and go to that kid's thing, oh, it definitely wouldn't have been worth it. <laughs> that would have been horrible. I wouldn't have been able to actually watch the presentation like I did at home. Like, I would have to wait. Like, that's stupid. Yeah, it's like E3 Kids Corner or something. Uh, this must be some mistake. I mean, I'm the one who's the gym leader. Thank you for the battle. I can now accept you as the champion. It's painful to admit, but I've come to realize a few of my weaknesses. But I, I'll keep getting stronger. I'll reach the pinnacle of what fairy types can do. Epic. Now then, as the gym leader, I will do my duty to clean this stadium. Now that's what I would call a perfectly pink Pokemon battle. Everyone at the other gyms is dead. You made me sit around here. <laughs> Even after losing his right to participate in the gym challenge, Beauty still found his own way to crash the, the champion cup. 
<laughs> yeah, I'd say he's a force to be reckoned with. I think I get why he should. He was chosen to be the next gym leader. He might be unbearable at times, or really most of the, most all the time, but he's a fierce trainer. He takes things seriously. Yeah, watching him battle you, it was plain to see how much work he puts into it. If you both are gonna keep talking, how about I fetch you a nice cup of... Cup of, cup of, cup of what? <laughs> that sounds like the setup to a, 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 a joke. Uh, right, right, I hear you. I, I'm having trouble. Str struggle reading. Nice, cool words. And I wouldn't be outdone by that beady or anyone. On to the next one. Wow, that took a long time. Oh my god. Mario 100! We've got to help all the other places where the Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there's two Pokemon stadiums left to check. Apparently I can read better if I read fast. We got a, we got a new card, right? Yep. Uh, flip. He was appointed by the former gym leader, Opal, to become the new gym leader of Bal... Balonia? Balonle. 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 Bal... Stadium. The general consensus in that Opal's harsh training has, a, in fact, mellowed him out. Though he himself has never co confirmed nor denied this. It should be noted that he no longer refuses to give autographs. Additionally, it seems his skills as a Pokemon trainer have also increased rather dramatically. Dramatic, dramatically. Recently, his intrusion during the finals of the Champion Cup has gained popularity and, his, and fans wish to see that kind of performance again. BD himself is not sure how to react. There we go. That's reading. We're gone. Uh, let's rush over to the next gym. Make sure no one's dead. What did that say? What is this place? I forget. Sir Chester. We're gonna go to, um, this is rock. I probably should heal. Healing would be pretty cool. Hello, champ. Yeah, that's me. I'm champ. Okay. Let's get over here, let's go win. Let's win. Do it fastly so we don't end up going over the time limit. Because I feel like that is possible and entirely will happen. Get to safety, you three. Who do you think you're call uh, talking to then? We're here to help, not be helped. Oh, actually, I didn't realize who I was talking to. Mario 100's here, so everyone can relax. I was just thinking over how to handle all the Dynamax Pokemon. With all of you here, we can take one of them on. Let's hurry to the pitch. Is everyone just really bad, like at Pokemon battle? Cause I don't, I don't get the whole. Yeah, let's 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 take these guys. They can do it. Like they can take out one each. And it's just like, here I am. I guess I'm the champion. That makes sense. Uh, a former gym leader. Okay, sure. Um, some guy who lost. <laughs> He's the brother of the champion, so I guess he gets to do it. I don't 
don't really get it. Is no one else over here, like, strong enough to be trusted? No one else can help. It's raining. Oh no! I'm gonna hit, get hit by a rock! Wow, like... Giant, giant, gigantic attacks would definitely kill someone. I guess I see Rose's, uh... Reason. Or not reason, but like... Idea of his, like, or whatever he wanted. He was trying to get everyone killed. <laughs> he was just trying to make every Pokemon Dynamax and get them all killed. I mean, it works. Right? Well, there we go. We lost one. We lost one today. Yeah, but that would that would definitely work. Doesn't apply to the lion situation. Just gonna mention that they can't dynamax with uh they they can't dynamax in the lion situation. That's not allowed. Nice work, everyone. No one's hurt, are they? Haha, <laughs> just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon all on your own is pretty hard work. <laughs> I expected nothing less from you, Mario 100. You seem like quite the reliable trainer, too, Hop. I, I do? Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Look, he's got a grin wider than a meow. I do not. Show your gob, Piers. I'll take care of the Pokemon we battled, so there's no need for any of you to worry, all right? Martin 100, it's hardly a reward for what you've done for me, but please take a copy of my leak card. Woo, we did it. <laughs> we got another one. If anything comes up, please contact me. All right then, I wish you all had, the I wish you all the best of luck for the future. Okay. Looks like most of the stadiums have got this Dynamax problem sorted now. Let's keep up the pace, Mario 100. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with Dynamax trouble left. Let's finish this already. Okay. Oh, uh, let's read that card. Love reading. Where is it? Oh, it's Thunder. I guess they did have a set. Oh, wait. I didn't read this one. Okay. Opal has thrust the duties of gym leader onto BD, who had his gym leader status revoked. Gym challenger status revoked. That being said, she still shows up to the, at the gym stadium every day, giving unsolicited advice, coming up with new quiz questions, and practicing various performances. What is this pink she insists others show her? Maybe a clue lies in a comment she made during an old interview. Keep thinking about the right answer, and eventually you'll create the right answer. Huh. Okay. Gordy is one of the top trainers of the Galar region, both in terms of popularity and skill. His strict training style means that his gym and few gym trainers... Wait, what? But he does have a, a quite a big, uh, quite a fan base. Gordy does his best to make sure his fans are happy. Often seen giving out for autographs or hosting events. There are currently three photographs or photo, photo album albums of Gordy, all published through the support of his fan base. This card shows another special photo taken specifically for this purpose 
at a photo studio. There we go. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna go over to the other gym. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna just do that and save. We're gonna get over there, save, and, and then we're gonna end it. We're done. <laughs> oh, I can't do it because I'm in the gym. Well, I don't care. We're ending it here, though. That's it for this video. See you next time. Go join the Discord. And goodbye.